Hey, the paper airplane guy again, I'm walking you through all of the planes from my new book, The Paper Airplane Guys, Paper Airplane Book for Kids. And this is really, really a beginner uh, book. The plane we're gonna make right now is called the Sledderang. It's a cool looking plane. Uh, it'll circle back for you. It'll ride thermals outdoors, a great indoor outdoor plane. And I want you to notice a couple things about the book. These QR codes will take you to video for how to use the, the templates in the book. Um, all of the steps are numbered. You can see that um, you know it's got a number on the step right there, and they all fold in one direction. So there's no complicated origami moves. The templates are are fun. The the wings look really terrific uh, when the planes are finished. So you've got QR codes. You've got numbered steps on the templates. Oh, and I want to show you this. The, there's something I'm calling a flip side guide. So you can see where the fold is going to go right there. That's step number one. Now if I fold this over. With a lot of other books, you got to keep checking to make sure you hit that line. With this book, with these templates, you can see there's a white line that starts to show up right there when you're in the right place. And that's where you make the crease. It really simplifies the, the whole folding idea. I start right there, I finish right here, boom, I know that I'm right on the line. So flip side guides, you've got the, the video to help you out, the QR codes that take you to video, the, no complicated folds, they all sort of happen just folding the paper one direction. It, it's really, really easy. It's the easiest folding you're, you're ever gonna do for paper airplanes. Uh, <laughs> I kid you not. Uh, so let's walk through this plane called the Sledderang. It, it's a fun plane to make. Now, you don't have to do the first two uh, folds that we're gonna do here if you're using the template because um, the template just has the line where it belongs. But to find where the line belongs without the template, we have to make some diagonal folds. So we're gonna go that way. We're going to go this way, and we're just making a big X in the page here using diagonal folds. And then we're going to fold down right straight across the middle of the X here. And so that's step number one in the book would be this, this crease right here, because I, I don't have to make these preliminary creases, I can just tell you to fold right there. So you just do that, that would be step number one, and then we fold this edge back up. And so this was a solution for, if you're starting with something complicated called a water bomb base, this was a solution for getting you to a, a paper kind of, uh, you know, paper moving so that it would be like moving the weight of a water bomb base. So now we're going to take this edge to that crease right there. And what I should have said, we're moving the center gravity in a very similar sort of way that, as you would with the water bomb base. And then this outside edge is going to this crease right here. lined up nicely. So we're going to follow these creases that you can see here and here. We're just going to follow that over and if you let this come loose a little bit that's okay because what you're going to do is you're going to tuck it underneath that layer right there and that's going to lock the whole thing together. So just as you're moving this, following this crease on the back side, you can let that layer come open then just tuck it under like that. And that's a very nice weighting system. If you've ever done uh, that, the water bomb base, which is where you collapse everything in, you're going to have a very similar weighting uh, pattern that is W-E-I-G-H-T, the weight of the plane, not, not like you're waiting in line. <laughs> you're moving the weight forward in a very similar way, <laughs> I should have said. Uh, and now what we're going to do is fold this edge kind of toward the center, but you'll, there's an easy kind of break over. You'll feel it where the layers end right there. Just move that over that much where that layer ends right there. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. And the cool thing, the fun thing about this plane is that it does not have that classic keel on the center that you grab. It's, you just grab the nose of it. Uh, it this is about the trickiest thing you're going to do with this plane. You're going to have a crease that goes uh, from, you're just moving this edge down to that, that corner of the wing and that crease is going to go right past that rear corner. And it's okay if it goes a little bit past that rear corner. You're just taking this edge down to the wing fold that you just made on both sides. And you've got a sledderang. And the fun thing about this guy, there are a couple of fun things about it, of course. It will, um, it will circle back. The top of the plane is here. This is the top of the plane. So you're going to throw it kind of like that, and it'll circle back. You'll, you'll see in the video here. Let me just show you. 
Uh, so here's the book. You can go to my website, thepaperplaneguide.com, to get the book. All kinds of fun planes. The Angry Bee, super fun. Uh, the Tumbling Wing, again, a really fun design. There you go, Sledderang, circles back. You can see I'm just kind of throwing it back in. It goes around in a corner. Lots of great gliders. Uh, some fun stunt planes. Wingaletto is really fun to fly. Also, we'll circle back when you get it uh, working correctly. That's a really fast plane right there. Um, just fun. And again, the QR codes take you to video. Uh, the folding is very easy. You're only folding in one direction here. And you can order it on my website if you feel like you want to get it signed. It makes a really good gift uh, signed. Um, or you can go to Amazon, of course, uh, and find the book there. I'm going to do all of the planes from the book with regular paper like this so that you don't have to buy the book if you don't want to. Hey, buying the book just isn't in the cards. No worries. I'm showing you how to do all the planes with just regular paper. <laughs> Piece of cake. But if you're inclined, yeah, please check it out. Go to Amazon. Go to my website. Uh, I'll be posting more planes, so stay tuned.